everybody as you know from today onwards we are going to start with online classes from physics section okay uh, we are going to start with the first chapter of your syllabus but before that what we'll do we will have a little bit uh, idea about syllabus which we are going to study throughout this year okay so what we do now in the beginning is we'll discuss little bit about the syllabus but not chapter wise we'll discuss it first with a concept wise okay so that you will have a you will have a little bit idea about what concepts you are going to study this year okay in your physics syllabus let's begin uh, what we are going to do this is a chart okay this chart is prepared uh, by dividing your syllabus in a concepts right so the first concept this year we are going to study is electricity and magnetism which consists of uh, eight chapters and it it, it it covers your entire book one okay this is basically this is a idea about what uh, electronics you know the branch of physics the electronics uh, i cannot say all those things but most of the things are not possible in today's world without electronics so in your syllabus also that importance or more importance is given to the uh, electronics and that's why your entire book one is a study of electronics okay and these are the again some subsections concept wise of that electricity and magnetism con this uh, concept we'll see that one by one little bit later then the second concept what you are going to study is optics which is the study of light energy okay and that we have a, again two concepts it's a ray optics and wave optics we'll see them in a separately a little bit later and the last concept we call it as a modern physics basically it is a study of particles particles i mean it's atomic or subatomic particles and the study okay fine let's let's go with first section that is electricity and magnetism okay in that first what you're going to study is electrostatics if you see that word is electrostatics it is a study of electric charges which I'm going to study in the first chapter at rest right it means we are going to study the electric charges in detail we are going to know what electric charges are thoroughly in this first chapter electric charge and fields and in the second chapter electric potential and capacitance that is all about electrostatics fine so we are going to understand the uh, charges in detail in these two chapters right now the next concept co comes in which we have some chapters okay and the third chapter is a, it's a current electricity the concept itself is a current electricity which is basically the study of electric charges in a motion in the electrostatic we study the char electric charges now we, if the charges are moving the behavior of the charges due to their motion or how they behave or uh, can we make use of their behavior in electronics that we are going to study in this in the next chapter is the fourth chapter of this lab is moving charges and magnetism this is actual study when the charges are moving they produces a magnetic field so basically in this chapter we are going to study the artificial production of a magnetism magnetic field you know right the next chapter we are going to study magnetism and matter right magnetic properties of matter matter in the sense the things around us which is um, in short it is natural magnetism the natural magnetic materials we are going to study in this chapter okay in the next chapter we are going to combine the electricity and magnetism right electricity and magnetism and it is called electromagnetic induction okay and the next part of that electromagnetic induction chapter is alternating current which is basically combination of electric and magnetic fields and the last chapter is electromagnetic waves right where the waves as a combination 
combination of electric and magnetic fields and what type of waves of that combination we know or we can study those all those things we are going to study in the eighth chapter so this what you can see right now as eight chapters is a is a part of part one or a book one of your PC second year syllabus okay now in the book two or part two let us see what we have in the book two first part section what we're going to study is the optics and as I told you in the beginning it is a study of light energy right basically uh, we study the optics or we divide the optics in two branches the first one is ray optics now how the division has been done or classification has been done it depends on how the wave or what wave nature we assume to explain the concepts in the physics right now the problem is uh, some concepts in a physics related to the light can be explained by assuming the ray nature of a light right so when you assume the light as a ray then only you can explain those concepts right that is in that branch of physics where you know it's called a uh, ray optics right but there's some concepts in the physics related to the light of course cannot be explained using assuming the ray nature of light those can be explained using what or assuming a wave nature of light that's why the second section of optic comes it is wave optic where we are going to study light energy but by assuming you can see the wave nature of light okay fine so basically in this section the first two chapters of book two or part two that means it is 9th and 10th chapter we are going to study the light in basically uh, maximum study of a light under this branch optics okay and then last section of your syllabus is modern physics and as I said again it is the study of particles that is atomic or subatomic particles in that first chapter that is chapter number 11th according to your now, syllabus it is the dual nature of radiation of matter. Now, here radiation means wave and matter means particle. So, how that wave and particle can have a dual nature, right? Basically, we are going to understand in this a wave can be a wave and it can be particle, or a particle it can be a wave as well as particle, okay? Vice versa. So, that is what we are going to understand. And in this chapter, we are going to study the particle called electron actually. Now, the second you know the atom right so we are going to understand the atom basically hydrogen atom because it's the simplest system in atomic level we are going to understand that and some mathematical part related to the atom its structure and all those things right okay and then we are going to study we are going to enter into the uh, atom where at the center we find a nucleus so we are going to understand the nucleus and different type of a nuclei and things related to that okay uh, and then we are going to understand the semiconductor right it's a semiconductor which it lies between metal and insulator okay uh, i cannot go in detail of that but it is again a particle it comes under the uh, particle physics section so we are going to study that okay uh, that's that's all uh, this is little bit basic information about your syllabus which you are going to uh, study uh, it is always better to know what you are going to study so that you know so that so that it will it will be helpful for you people to generate that curiosity fine thank you <coughs>